Hello, my name is Kyra Husbands and I'm a senior VCS student here at SVA. And I wanted to go through some of my works from when I first applied to the school up until right now, which is my thesis. So when I first applied to SVA, I didn't really have a specific medium I liked to work in, but I just knew I really liked art. Um, I worked in a lot of mixed media works with pen and acrylic paint, uh, primarily just that on paper. I never really worked too large and I just was experimenting with it at this point and honestly just having fun. Uh, at this point, I didn't take AP art. I decided that I wanted more freedom to just kind of create what I wanted and I didn't want to kind of focus on still lifes. But, um, as much as I wanted to do that, my professor still uh, pushed for me to, you know, do some still life and submit it in with my portfolio along with the stuff that I was creating at home. I do consider myself somewhat of a self-taught artist in the sense that um, I kind of just work with what I know, use that to my advantage, what some may see as a disadvantage, to be a little bit more creative. Um, with these works, I'm working with pen and very bright colors. I got a lot of my reference photos either from taking photos of myself or just the internet. Um, I worked with these circles a lot, which is funny now because I'm working with a lot of squares. So just a little fun uh, thing I just noticed. But um, this is a self-portrait of myself, a portrait I was very proud of at the time. And I continue to do self-portraits as the years go on. Not as much anymore, but the self-portraits I do now definitely have a more non-figurative form, I would say. But, so with these works, I submitted a painting or two, two still lifes just showing, you know, what I could do, uh, painting from life, and then a lot of other just creative stuff that I did honestly on my free time. So I just say submit anything that you feel like you're proud of. And if you feel like you can vouch for it, that's very important too. Um, sophomore year was definitely an important year for me when it came to branching out into new mediums. I took a photography class, got used to Photoshop, took a sculpture class and strengthened my drawing and painting um, in the foundation courses. And in that, as much as it could have been overwhelming, it honestly was such a great experience because it made me realize what I like to do and what I maybe don't like to do as much, but I can understand people's passions when it comes to it. And I appreciate it a little bit more. So for my sophomore year, one thing I'm very proud of that came out of that was a series of portraits that I did or took of these Barbie dolls that I collect um, at home. So for that, it was very interesting because taking a photography class for me was definitely out of my comfort zone. And I also found it difficult finding a subject matter that was different than, you know, New York City or landscapes and stuff like that. So for this, I was very proud of finding something that is important to me and reflects me and my personality and able to have that for a project in class. Um, also for my sophomore year, again, strengthening a lot of drawing and painting. I continued to work in ink to some extent, but started moving on to acrylic painting a little bit more. And out of that, I created these three series of images that I titled First Year, which reflect my experiences making friends and spending alone time in the dorm rooms. And this series of work has been probably one of my most popular ones, um, just because of how simplified it is and probably relatable it is. And I'm very proud of them. And also it's important to say that sophomore year, I was able to use resources when it came to printing and I made my own prints. I learned how to make my own prints and I started selling my own prints which was very nice um, and something I think that people should get accustomed to because it's good to make connections and it's also good to get your artwork out there uh, to the people who appreciate it. And you'll find those people and it's just such a rewarding feeling when somebody values having a piece of your artwork. 
But yeah, in this time I created this series of work, which is right here. There's these peaches against this very dark skin. I was very inspired by Kerry James Marshall at that time. I was like just introduced to him and I was blown away. It was also a very important year for me when it came to being exposed to new artists, not only famous artists, but my peers and seeing what they're working on and the new ways that they're working. Um, also working digitally, which is something definitely out of my realm, uh, but I made it work by incorporating drawings and scanning them and then putting them into Photoshop and adding all these other elements. Very experimental time, uh, but I enjoyed every second of it. I also took a sculpture class and got used to working with my hands a little bit more in the wood shop. I really appreciated that um, segment of my sculpture class. I recommend it to everybody because um, it really is a rewarding feeling to like make something from scratch and present it to people. So that was a very good year for experimenting and kind of just dipping my toes in everything. Um, one thing I would say about VCS specifically is you do have more freedom when it comes to testing out different classes and different majors based on what you personally are interested in. And I definitely feel like if you're in VCS, take full advantage of that and talk with your advisor and let them know what you're interested in and they'll point you in the right direction for sure. Um, for my third year, that was my junior year, which was during COVID. And although it was rough, I personally made the best out of it because I was able to spend that time in my home, which is in upstate New York. And in that time, I needed to find new materials to work on. And I decided that I wanted to focus more on painting and I also wanted to paint portraits. So being home, I was able to go through um, a large collection of family photos of my family from Barbados and here in the States. And I created a couple paintings, larger scale paintings, because I had the space to work on them in that span of time, which was fall of 2020 into spring 2021. Um, it started with a portrait of my brother, which I did summer of 2020, um, where he's dressed as Batman. And I was so happy with how it came out and I was able to give it to my brother and he has it right now in his room. And once I did that, I just felt like I just needed to continue with these portraits. Um, the second one that I did was called Sugarcane, which is a photo of my mom holding my brother when they were in Barbados visiting one year, feeding him sugarcane, which is a very um, popular food on the island. And these portraits are interesting to talk about now because my absence in them is very strong. A lot of these photos that I'm painting were taken before I was born, but I think that um, just gives it something a little bit more special for me personally. Then I painted this portrait of my aunt, which was one of the largest ones that I've done so far at this time. And it was just a fun experience to do. I can't really say much about it. I ended up starting to, I wanted to play with a lot of flatness next to very um, rendered skin tones and other objects. So the dress is like a complete matte black without any real shadows or light in it other than the details on the dress. And then this kind of moved me towards the work or the most recent paintings that I've done this year that I will continue to do um, where I am incorporating now texture and flatness again with the rendering. Um, and these very interesting patterns. I'm starting to be more interested in textiles, which you'll see in my more recent works. So this is a painting titled Seven, which is of my brother on his seventh birthday. Again, I was not there, I don't think. If, it, if I was, I was very young. 
And then this is a portrait of myself actually um, being held by my grandmother. And this one is a somewhat smaller portrait, but again, I was trying to be consistent with this detail in patterning, flatness and the rendering and this glow that I try and add into the skin tones. And yeah, the last portrait I did was a portrait of my mom when she was in Barbados in the late 80s. And again, continuing with these patterns and um, just catching very intimate moments in my family's life. So recently for my thesis, I had to come up with what I wanted to focus on for the next last, next two semesters, basically in a couple of months. And I decided that um, I didn't want to do portraits and I wanted to move on to a project that I started around the same time that I started doing, uh, I did the Batman portrait, which is these mixed media works that incorporate paint, embroidery, and textiles. And I decided I want to work on that more because I felt like it would be a challenge to myself. And also I felt like I could say more about these and it was, it showed more about who I am as a person than any photo could. Um, and I, I work on a small scale, six by six, and working at that scale, it's very intimate process for me. And I'm able to create a lot more work, but also take my time and be much more precise with detail in these works. So this one is the first one that I started with, which is called Triad Unraveled. And this one shows uh, the acrylic painting, the mixed media, which is painting on top of, with embroidery on top of it, and then the complete fabric piece. So my work now consists of these grid patterns um, and the small scale. And I'm kind of working within this format because I wanted to challenge myself by limiting myself to a set of rules and seeing how I can expand on that uh, and work within it. Um, I'm also making comments on translation and assimilation and turning one thing into another and that process of how that comes to be is also just very important to me and somewhat therapeutic. But uh, I definitely think it's interesting the change that my work has made since I started here at SVA up until now. And for my thesis project, it was a very big step for me to decide that I didn't want to paint portraits, especially since that was something that was definitely more popular from my peers and also um, my professors, but deciding to do this for my thesis, I've had nothing but support and definitely have had the space and freedom to sit and think about what it is that I'm making and discuss that with my professors to see if that makes sense. Um, but I feel like I can always go back to the portraits and once I graduate, I probably will go back to the portraits and I will definitely continue doing these mixed media works that I'm doing now. But I feel like I just have, I'm leaving school with a lot more freedom and a better understanding that things are okay and I don't need to necessarily get hung up on one thing because naturally over time, opinions change. You're gonna find something that you're passionate about and it's gonna stick and once it sticks, I think you will know that that's what you're meant to do. But that's my last four years here at SVA and I'm looking forward to my next chapter after I graduate. Thank you.